Okay, in this second video, uh, we're going to show how to use this to uh, refine your retirement plan with the main focus being sensitivity analysis. I did ask you to come up with two base plans, one for having a uh, fixed benefit retirement plan included and one without. So let's take a look at that first. Uh, so let's uh, go back to our baseline, which had 40 years here, and say, all right, right now this would be a plan based on not having any fixed benefit retirement plan. And uh, I had also changed another number or two. Let me go back to 62,000 here. And so we had this uh, starting point. And uh, so this would be one where you just have a 401k and your uh, employer is contributing, in this case, 6%. Uh, but this requires you to work for 40 years. Let's suppose you did have some kind of a fixed income retirement attached to it. Let's say you have uh, Social Security only. And uh, Social Security, you, um, I know I'm getting about 30000 a year. So let me put in 30000 here as an estimated amount. And then this would could be a plan based on having that. So um, let's use this as a starting point and take a look at this spreadsheet. First of all, the top part, uh, you need to customize it. And wherever you see a little red triangle, in a box there's a note there a comment box that you can read and let me point out that this is very cryptic right now it it doesn't reflect what you want to do you need to customize this if I see that you just take this box and start playing around and leave it alone I know you're not doing a very thoughtful job of putting together your retirement plan for example this $15,000 it's just an amount for taking care of property taxes and homeowners insurance and uh, it doesn't include any mortgage payments it assumes that uh, my house is paid off so you might want to play around with this and uh, you need to play around with it and customize it so with that being said let's take this basic plan and say this is the one we're going to analyze now we want to do sensitivity analysis. Uh, let's see how we can do that. It's pretty easy uh, to do uh, with using Excel. And if you click on this uh, step seven cell, you see that there's a list of variables that you could use for sensitivity analysis. And I would say this would be a minimum if you're trying to put together a high scoring uh, analysis. And so let's pick a, um, a variable to look at. And let's start with years until retirement. So uh, I'm going to put in here uh, years and then uh, savings percent. This is and uh, I'm going to give it a title. Let me move this down. I'm just going to insert a line. Give me some more room. And so the title here is um, Years Until Retirement. I'll just leave it like that. And um, so I already have uh, 40 in there. Let me put that in. And I'm going to go in two-year increments before and after just to get a feel for the sensitivity. 42, 44. Now, 11.3%, I already have that. Uh, for 40 years. Now I'm going to go up and doesn't take too long to do this. I'm going to put 
put in 36 years, uh, four years until retirement, hit enter, and the whole uh, spreadsheet recalculates, and I get a 16.1% uh, savings gradient. 38, I'm going to go back and put that in. Four years until retirement, hit enter. 13.5%. Then I need to do 42 and 44. 42%, 9.3% now, and 44, seven point six percent. All right. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. If I block it and go up and hit the home function, I can center all those numbers. I can uh, block it and also um, go back to home and I can put borders around it. And that makes it look a little prettier. So now, uh, and maybe I can take my base assumption and uh, maybe do a fill there. Uh, let me use yellow as my base. And so I have a pretty little uh, summary of what happens to my savings percent as I vary my years uh, that I'm uh, working before I retire. And if I want to make it uh, even prettier, I can put together a little graph. If I block my rows and columns and then go to insert and go over to the charts area and I'm going to click on scatter chart with uh, straight lines and markers, then I get a nice uh, uh, graph with going to pull it down next to it so it's adjacent and so now I have a nice graph that uh, shows the uh, savings percent on the y-axis and the number of years on the x-axis and you can doctor this up uh, by changing some of the uh, design parameters of that chart but I'm going to leave it like this for now and so in five minutes, uh, you can come up with an analysis of the impact of any one of these factors on the savings percent. And as mentioned in class, you could even uh, change two factors and see what the overall effect is, um, the interaction between the two, you know, where as one goes up the other might go down but what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get an understanding of how much uh, the variation in any of these parameters uh, what the impact of that is on your retirement plan and uh, you're looking for what uh, your retirement plan is most sensitive to and uh, that's one thing I want you to write about so y some of these factors have only a minor effect on your retirement plan and some have a major effect and you want to find out what those are and uh, play around with them to come up with a uh, retirement plan that is uh, least sensitive to uh, changing in, in, in over time and in variation. So anyway, uh, this uh, then gives you uh, a, an idea of what to do uh, to come up with your final retirement plan. So I'm going to stop for now, and uh, and you can uh, go ahead and do your own analysis.